I didn't know this man was gonna try and match me. <laughs> You're not wearing that. <laughs> what's up you guys welcome to my channel if you've never been here before welcome for the first time my name is jordan where you can catch me every week navigating my 20s in style all right now that we got my little catchphrase out the way because y'all i'll be forgetting as you can see the title of today's video is a week of outfits so i'm starting out at the beginning of the week it is sunday i'm just getting ready to go run a few errands whenever i go out i take it as an opportunity to get dressed okay people be saying they don't have reasons to get up and get dressed y'all you living is a reason, okay? Today, it is Sunday, so it is more of a chill day. As you can see, I've already done my hair and I did a little bit of concealer and some baby hairs. And pretty much this week, I'm just gonna be showing you all of my outfits. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first outfit. So I have on my OOTD is very, very streetwear today. Streetwear is just my go-to when I wanna be comfortable, but I also wanna be cute. So starting from the top, we're gonna go ahead and count this, okay? I honestly count my headphones as part of my outfits. Sometimes I won't wear them because like they'll be too bulky for what I'm wearing, but I feel like today this, they just go with the outfit, okay? Coming down, we have this gray hoodie on uh it's just my little aritzia hoodie i'll put all the details of the outfits down in the description box but y'all know i wear this hoodie a lot i like that i can just lounge around in it i like that i can dress it up for days like this and then when you go down i'm wearing like a little utility vest i decided to wear this because i've had this for a few years now and i just do not wear it i'll see if it's still available or if i can find something very similar i have on my mini telfar duffel this bag is probably the bag that has grown on me the most most that I own. I'm just wearing it as a crossbody because you know crossbodies are very convenient. Then we're working our way down. We have these green joggers on. We're gonna put this down for a second. Originally I had put on some Carhartt joggers but then I ended up switching out of them because they were just a little too rigid for what I was trying to pull off. I'm trying to pull off a very comfortable cute outfit so I decided to go with these like much looser ones. These unfortunately I've had these for a few years so I just know these are not gonna be available but um again and I'll see if I can find something similar. And then at the bottom, it's really about the shoes. I styled this whole outfit based off of my shoes, basically. And if you see, they're obviously very, very bright pink. I recently did a um, full shoe collection. If you didn't catch it, you definitely have to check it out on my channel. A very, very recent video. Excuse my floor. I have to like sweep today. So there's like, there's a whole lot going on. All right. So we're just gonna, Sunday, it's cleaning day. Don't worry. I got it. These are just the jacket. Jack Moose Nike collab. I'm obsessed with them, especially the little cream laces. So I had to style these up today. And as you can see on purpose, I added my little Birkin tote bag. I think I just really like it because it's kind of like satire of the Birkin bag. I'm not really a person that's into like knockoffs of something. I wouldn't buy a knockoff of this bag, but I love that you can obviously see like the white around it and it just makes it like a little tote bag. But yeah, this is just my grocery bag. I'm extra, okay? I gotta coordinate at the grocery store with my grocery bags. But yeah, this is the full outfit. I actually planned the whole outfit out in my head, but I'm absolutely impressed with how it turned out. Also, it's just very, very comfortable and cute. All right, I'm getting ready to head out. I will see you guys tomorrow for Monday's outfit. It's Monday, and let me tell you, Monday, it's Monday today, okay? So I have a very chill outfit on today because I'm really not doing anything for real today except for going to grab something that I'm missing for my dinner. Besides that, I have nothing to do. But of course, y'all know I like to take every opportunity when I step outside to do something. So today we just have like a little something. It's giving like streetwear tomboy vibes today. Okay, so first we're gonna start out without my outerwear on because I am going outside, so I'm gonna add a jacket to this. But I just wanted y'all to see the little base we have going on here. So starting off at the top per usual, I have on this like kind of anime-ish t-shirt. It's just a regular brown t-shirt and it's got like a really fun print on it. I think it's really cute. What I decided to do today was layer it with this long sleeve. I feel like this is something we used to do a lot in like middle school, maybe even elementary school. One thing that I like to do though, I prefer like a more fitted shirt. It doesn't swallow me up as much as like an actual baggy shirt would swallow me. So as we go to the jewelry, you see that I have on my cross necklace and my little gold round necklace. Uh, for bag, some of you guys saw my Insta story that I was trying to choose between this bag for this outfit 
and between my medium sized Tilfar bag. I decided to go ahead and go with the Jacquemus bag just because I love a very mixy outfit. Like I feel like the base of this outfit is very masculine, but I like to add like a little bit of girly touches. I just felt like the tote bag was gonna be like too overbearing because all of the outfit is like very big and baggy. So we'll just let the Jacquemus bag be the little touch of feminine for the day. I didn't even mention I'm not wearing any makeup today because like I said, like, Today isn't much of a day of me doing anything. I just need to grab something. So I'm really not trying to take pictures for the gram or nothing like that. So at the bottom, you can see that I went ahead and went with a monochromatic look and added these brown cargo pants. Again, these are just very comfortable. I like cargo pants because they kind of act like sweatpants, but I feel like they look a little more dressed up than sweatpants do. And then I finished off with just some black and white dunks at the bottom. Okay, to lighten this outfit up, I decided to go with my like marshmallow-esque puffer on the outside because I feel like a lot of this outfit is very dark, but it kind of just helps the little bag blend a little bit more. Y'all, let me tell you, anytime I buy a puffer jacket, I make sure that it is severely oversized. I just feel like when you get things super oversized, they just automatically make things look like in a way more expensive but yeah this is monday's outfit i don't know if y'all can tell like i'm exhausted today so forgive me for that y'all your girl is not good with mondays okay but i will see you guys tomorrow for tuesday's outfit all right so we've made it to wednesday i actually already have on my otd and it's also valentine's day far from valentine's day by the time y'all see this but look it's all right i did makeup today actually like a little bit of foundation and like some little pinky colors just a very nude toned down look because the outfit's kind of a lot so i didn't want like a dramatic makeup look so let me show you okay so we're having a very gloomy day here in chicago but this is my ootd so let me break it down as always we're gonna start from the top so i did my look also don't mind my baby hairs right now y'all like i need to go and put like some little wrap lotion on them because they are flying away in the front <laughs> it looks a little crazy but I'm, I'm gonna handle that before i walk out um, but at the sunglasses, we got, you know, the little vintage Dior's and then as you work your way down, I have on a little baby tee. I really need to get another one of these because I'm very sorry. You guys will probably see me wear this a lot. It's just, it fits me so well and I'm comfortable in it and I just love how it looks with my outfits. Um, but it says Jesus saves, I spin, which is pretty much my mantra i'm working on it though y'all i have really been writing down you know that that's besides the point anyways yeah like i feel like that explains me super well but we also have the little two chains we got the little cross and then we have like a little gold chain and then as we come down you see that i went with a leather jacket now you're probably wondering what's going on at the bottom of this outfit so what it is is this little maxi skirt and y'all i'm obsessed with it so it's actually part of a two-piece set but i just broke it up to wear it like this today but it's very flowy it's kind of got like an asymmetrical look at the bottom uh since it's valentine's day this is like my way of adding in the little romance to my outfit i just love the texture of it and the creaminess it kind of has a vintage look but it's not vintage i'll see if it's still available but i'm not sure see this is my touch of <laughs> valentine's day at the bottom we got the vintage rick how girl boots on i've been like itching to wear these and i just feel like this was the perfect day considering it's valentine's day i definitely don't feel like this is your traditional valentine's day outfit but i really don't want it to be but yeah i really like it also i put it with this little um nylon prada bag but i feel like this managed to look pretty casual throwing in some last minute touches so i did decide to add like this little belly chain because i realized i was wearing gold jewelry which i don't really do that often so i was like oh snap like i have to wear this since it's gold it just says heaven scent and then you can also see that i added some rings this one is like a little butterfly ring we've got a cuban link ring and then we have a heart of course my hands look so chunky but all right now i am ready to go i'll see you guys in tomorrow's ootd Happy Wednesday, y'all. I feel like yesterday I probably told y'all it was Wednesday because it was Valentine's Day. And I don't know why, but I just automatically assumed it was Wednesday. But if I did, here's the actual official Wednesday. And it's an early morning for me. I've been up for a couple hours now. So we're kind of going with obviously a very loungy outfit today and no makeup at all because I'm just trying to get to my destination. So I feel like of all outfits, this is definitely like 
an 80% Jordan starter pack outfit. So you guys know I wear this Mia Coco beanie a lot. I have it in multiple colors because it's just such good quality. Like I know they're making knockoffs of this, but I highly recommend being patient for the original one because it is just, the quality is really nice. If I didn't have necklaces on, I wouldn't even put any on because like the trip is not that serious. Like I'm just going to the airport. <laughs> to pick somebody up not even a walkthrough um down below i am gonna put something on top of this because it's not really cold outside but it's a little chilly but um this is literally the shirt that i slept in this is the shirt that i slept in and i just put my crop hoodie on top of it and then uh you know just the matching joggers to go with it at the bottom i have on my gray cozy fuzzy socks whenever i wear my crocs i just feel like i'm supposed to have them on um and then at the bottom you can see that i have on my black crocs you guys know the ones with the platforms and the charms and then the little spikes everywhere i just love that they're like so cute but also super comfortable at the same time so I never thought I'd be like one of those girls that's just always wearing Crocs, but these Crocs have made me one of those girls. Um, for the bag, you guys ask about this bag pretty much every time I wear it. Just in case I don't find the link for it, it is from Cos. So this is the jacket that I threw on on top. This is like an old mango jacket that I got back when I was teaching because it's like kind of fancy-ish. So yeah, this is a very like gray muted comfy outfit but i feel like the coat just brings it up a lot just in case like i do stop by at, like a store or something and need to get something then i'll look you know even though i'm wearing sweatpants pretty decent but yeah i'm getting ready to head out i will see you guys in tomorrow's ootd i'm going on a little day trip all right y'all we are to my thursday ootd i went ahead and did a little bit of makeup so today i'm actually going on a little overnight trip and it's also going to be snowing today where we're going but i have on a little fit because y'all know how i am like i gotta i gotta dress for the occasion so i did a little bit of like a blushy pink look um all i did was just spot conceal no foundation today very natural look because it's mostly about my little outfit of the day so this is not the entire outfit for today but you're gonna get the gist of it pretty much but i'm gonna actually take pictures today hopefully but as you can see we got on this little bodysuit so if y'all were with me when i went uh shopping with my sister this is the bodysuit that i had bought it's like this little ballerina pink and it's got these little cups underneath i was worried that it wasn't gonna fit but it definitely does fit and it's so comfortable like the material is really really nice it's very cute i'm not gonna go outside completely like this i'm just showing you guys the base and the kind of idea of the outfit i'm gonna put sweatpants and a jacket on uh, sweat jacket on on top of this because obviously I will freeze my butt off if I go outside like this um, I also have on my little marshmallow looking puffer coat because I'm going with like a light color palette today I feel like y'all have seen a lot of dark outfits from me this week but yeah we're going with this one you can see that I added these little I guess you could say fuzzy socks so they're kind of acting as leg warmers I have cream leg warmers but these are just much thicker and actually much warmer and so i just figured i'd go ahead and put those on and i have my little metallic uggs on that i absolutely love this is my ootd for thursday um i have some more accessories to add but like i said this is just kind of the base that i'm going to be traveling in today but yeah i'll see you guys in tomorrow's outfit of the day video all right yeah we have made it to the what did it say friday friday ootd yeah we're almost to the weekend but yeah we're getting ready to go do a little bit of vintage shopping it's evening time but there's just this vintage shop that i want to go to really quick i literally just got done taking a nap so today's makeup is eyebrows and a little bit of like some cocoa chapstick so that's literally it when i tell you this outfit i feel like it's like lazy but like cute at the same time but also it's like 20 degrees outside so i had to make sure i'm warm so let me show y'all today's fit here is today's ootd like you can already see what i mean by how relaxed it is so starting off at the top like you already know if you got a baseball cap on you're really not trying to do too much <laughs> even though i know y'all see like the little bit of fur so i feel like that looks like i'm doing a lot but baseball cap very chill um down in the necklaces i have kind of what i've just been wearing all week i haven't been taking them off i've just been showering in them so they look pretty good with this outfit so i just decided to leave them on uh when we get down to my shirt i have on uh this kathleen cleaver shirt if you don't know who kathleen cleaver is 
I don't know what to tell you. This shirt says um, basically one of her quotes, isn't it beautiful? Um, it's from, I forgot the name of the place and I cannot read this backwards. Put it down below, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's just like this little streetwear. Rattle it up then, rattle it up, y'all. My boyfriend's in the background acting like a little rat or something. So yeah, I just have on that shirt. So you guys don't see me wear t-shirts a lot, but when I wear a t-shirt, I just really wanna be comfortable and this is just a really nice, comfy tee. So as we get to the bottom of the fit, you see I have on like some baggy jeans with slits in the side. So I would say these are like Margiela jean dupes because they don't have the slits, like they're not even. The Margiela jeans, they have them with like the slits like this and then this one, the slit is down here and the slit is higher up on this side. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. The only thing about these jeans, y'all, and it's a personal problem, okay? Your girl's gained a, maybe an inch or two around the waist, apparently, in the last few months. And so this is how I'm wearing the pants. <laughs> this is how I'm wearing the pants. So look, I love doing these little videos for you guys because it's just really funny to see like the reality of the outfit. The reality of this outfit is I can't fit these jeans, but the reality also is we just gonna put a big t-shirt on top to cover that up because it's just way too cute to just stop wearing. They fit the rest of my legs, so we're gonna keep it going. Um, and at the bottom, I went ahead and went with my Jordan 1 Lowe's. I've told you guys before, these shoes are just ultra, ultra comfy. So yeah, we got like a little bit of hint of red, hint of dark blue from the hat, and then we bring it all together with the tans and browns of this vintage coat. This is where it gets extra, obviously. You cannot be any more extra than a long vintage coat. Um, this is just like faux fur lined and it's got like fur all the way to the bottom on the inside and on the sleeve. So I just felt like it really dressed the outfit up a lot even though it's a very chill like streetwear outfit. And then also to add to that again, I went with my Louis Vuitton pochette to add a bit of, little bit of a luxe look. And that is Friday's OOTD. Hope you guys like it. I will see y'all tomorrow. Oh, please look at Edward. Oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I wasn't gonna have this in here because I did not know he was wearing this shirt. I bought us both these shirts at the same time. I didn't know this man was gonna try and match me. <laughs> You're not wearing that hat. <laughs> Show them your shirt. <laughs> so I got these for Black History Month and I got him one. It's got MLK on it and it says I had a scheme. Yeah, I'm not doing the hat. Take the head off. I'm gonna put a beanie on. Absolutely not. Uh-uh. Hey, y'all trying to she trying to be like me. So as you can see, I went with a little kind of neutral makeup look. Like literally it's a no foundation day because let me tell you now, the outfit today, I think it's gonna be a little vampy. Um, lots of black, so I decided to go really light on the face. Plus also it's daytime, but if it was nighttime, I'd go all the way vamp. But I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and show you guys the outfit. So this is today's outfit of the day. I'll take off my jacket in a second cause y'all gotta see the details on this shirt, okay? But I decided, like I said, to go with a very vampy look. So we've got lots of dark gray, we've got lots of black. So I'm gonna start from the top. So for accessories, you could just go with some skinny little sunglasses. I feel like this is giving like very 90s when the trench coats were like at their best. So that's why I wanted to wear this. And just in combination with the braids, like I feel like the 90s Lisa Bonet, okay? Um, for jewelry, I, I went with this just regular little silver necklace. I tend to wear this a lot. I really need to get another one, but I just wanted to keep it simple because the top kind of has a lot going on. All right, so as we go down, you can see that I have on a long maxi skirt. Look y'all, if you would have told me a year ago that I was wearing maxi skirts, I will tell you, you are a whole entire lie. But yet here I am. But I think it's really cute. It is a leather one and it's more slender. If I'm gonna wear a maxi skirt, they either have to be super flowy or they have to be fitted. I can't really do an in-between, but I just feel like this is more flattering for my body type. It does have like a little slit in the back. Now, not too much on the fact that I have on these little white socks. I had them on, I didn't feel like taking them off at that point. So I just left them. I honestly am not crazy about the back because of this slit and the coat not covering it. 
but it is what it is we're just gonna focus on the front so at the bottom i decided to go with some jordans i don't get to wear these a lot and so as soon as i saw the opportunity to wear it with this gray top i was like we're gonna take that opportunity my original thought was to wear it with some dark red doc martens but i just felt like the outfit definitely needed to be brought down a couple of notches because <laughs> this shirt and this skirt it was giving fancy a little bit and that's not what i was going for we're just i'm just going to the store okay so this is what we're working with in terms of the shirt like i said i had to show you because the top is just interesting within itself it's like an asymmetrical top it's got one shoulder lots of straps and this little keyhole on it i just think it's really really cute and we love a good rib top like i wish i could just go out like this right here but it is like 35 degrees outside which i will say is good for chicago but it's still not this good but i will walk around in the store like this but yeah i really like this outfit i think it came together nice like it's dressed up but i feel like the sneakers definitely make it a bit more casual but yeah that is my ootd okay so your girl definitely forgot to close out this video but i would love for y'all to let me know what your absolute favorite of the week was i feel like this video was a lot of like casual comfortable outfits really just my day-to-day -day outfits so let me know don't forget to hit like if you did enjoy this video and would like to see more of these and i will see you guys in next week's video